Hello people, welcome to the randomised user playtest of Illumin. Now, nobody agrees exactly what roguelike means anymore, do they? I'm not even sure you can use the old, I know it when I see it line. Illumin has very little that's exactly like rogue, but you know the feeling of constant discovery you get with classic roguelikes. That's here, and that is easily the most important part of this game. Illumin is out on Steam from the 30th of September, and you can also buy it on Itch.io. So, I'm going to depart here from my normal playtest format, because I usually have a bunch of scripted review notes to weave in, but I'll put those at the end. And as I said in the intro, this game is about discovery, and I want this to be more spontaneous. Obviously there will be spoilers ahead, so if you just want the review, skip ahead to the timecode on the screen. Okay, starting from the very start of the level, tells you what keys to use, activate the level by interacting for the first time, and now we're on the move! Oh, we've already found a book! I think you have to collect lots of books, I think that's the main objective to start with. He's a P, he's fine, interact with him to get the karma. All these regular letters I'll interact with by standing close by and pressing the button. Oh, blimey hell, if that was a baddie, I would have had it. So I've got to be careful. I'm using the controller rather than the keyboard, because the controller gives you subtler movements, whereas the keyboard is just eight directional. However, the controller does make you charge in, I've found, a bit more. And you might just charge in by destroying a wall and just running straight into an enemy. Of which there are some, eventually. Sometimes you come across them straight away, sometimes it takes a while. Just grab the karma. Karma indicated on the bottom right. Um, which is good for something. Don't know what it is yet. So, let's try and get to um, an enemy. Well, there's there's, an, there's another Z. Um, if you can just about hear this... Well, maybe you can, maybe you can't. But whenever there's a, a little sort of circle coming from the either you or the baddies, you're making a sound. So you can use that to detect other enemies and friends alike. Um, enemies usually have a more scary sort of noise to them. There we go, let's grab... Oh! Hello, W. And I'm starting to get into a slightly different region. I think we might find some... There's some Zero baddies, which I've seen before. Uh, I'm not quite sure if they spawn near these sort of tiley type things or not. Uh, did on my last go, but that may be just a coincidence. Oh! What was that? Look, I can hear something. Yeah, there's something on the other side of this wall, which is not good. Some Something in there, I think. Yeah, that's a baddie. It's going to zip across the landscape, and if you touch it, you doze. So I'm not going to touch it then. <laughs> Straightforward enough. Oh, there's another one to the right somewhere. So you can use these visual and audio clues. Th oh no, it's going to come towards me. It's fine, it's fine. So I need more books. Just going to be opening up the areas somewhat, which is, may or may not be a good thing, but I like to keep it open because if you see... Oh no! Uh, what, 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 oh god! See, so suddenly it's an action game. Oh, there's, another, there's loads of them all. Oh! It came out of nowhere! So I collected two books in that. Um, it's indicated by on the bottom right there's those two blue books. I think I need to get four, five, six, seven, eight um, to get to the target and become number one, I assume. Um, but yeah, you will die a lot, and all you have to do is come back to life and start again. And since I only collected two books last time, I mean, I think I can beat that easily enough. Let's grab into the landscape. The, the landscape changes dynamically, as you've seen. Two books already! And the W! Oh, and already we've come to some shits. I wonder if they um, start turning up as you get more books. Never really thought about that. Oh, oh god, there's loads of them! So, I've got to be cautious now. I've got to be... Listen out for the enemies. I think I've been, um, because I've been talking so much, I haven't really been doing much listening. And of course, listening is crucial. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Right, H and Z. I can cope with you. <laughs> Anywhere else. H? You're fine. You're, you're good. Are you cool? No, you're not cool. You're not cool. S is fine. Oh, no S! S is not fine. This is deed. Poor old S. Come on. Where are the books? E. E. Ooh, bloody hell! <laughs> there are three in this room. I haven't found any books for ages. Maybe it's because I've been going north. Oh, hello, Zed. I'm going to try and go west now. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, this is a really open area. Oh, maybe there isn't. Maybe it doesn't keep on going on forever. Oh, I better get back indoors. I'm going to feel lost. I don't like it. Get back! 
Where am I? <laughs> oh, there we go. Ah, phew. Oh! Not fair. <laughs> oh, a buck. First one in ages. Looking at the bottom left, I have now got three. Where are you going? Oh, careful. Not going to go around there. Oh, well, <laughs> so apparently I am. Oh, four. Oh, things have gone red. Things have gotten see me. Let's grab you. Is that a, um, is that G doing? No, that's okay. The G is safe. The G is cool. The G is fine. It's just that zero is um, plowing its little waveform through the wall to let me know he's there. I gotta be careful. Oh no! Th oh, there's one of you. There's a chompy A. And chompy A's, you just gotta be careful not to be looked at by them, or they'll chase you. And by the moment they're looking at me, he's looking at me. He's looking at me. I'm gonna go over here. It's fine. You can creep past them quite stealthily normally, but if you get if you get looked at by the, the creature, you will know about it. Uh, get the K. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Ah, lads. Hey. <laughs> That's fine. Right, quick, grab the book. The A. Look, the A doesn't know I'm here. <laughs> he barks as well. Hehehe. <laughs> So then you definitely know he's, there's another one there. There's another book though as well. So let's go around the corner. Say hello to Mr. W and Mr. S. There he is. Grab the book. Oh, it's gone green. How many have we got? Four, five, six, seven. I think we've got eight. Oh, now what then? No. Uh -oh. oh, there's another baddie. A, a baddie I've never seen before. Oh, that's a prick. Look at him. He bounces like Billio. Don't want to go near him. Look, you can see all the sounds. Oh, hello. <laughs> you can see all the... Ah! Shit. Oh, bollocks! New discovery, Path of Light. Oh, so that's what happens when you hit that target. But it looks like I have to find three more books on top of that if I want to hit the next target. What's the Path of Light do, then? Well, there's all the, all, the, all the different sorts of things. Okay, pay attention to everyone. Find the reason for their aggressiveness. Help those in trouble. Whoever they are. I saw one of those in the last... That's what almost killed me. Appease them. Share your time. Ooh, all sorts of spoilery woilery things here. I've only just noticed, stupidly, that books do give off an indication that they exist as well. Um, that's that kind of the um, the way the, uh, the the rectangle kind of expands from around it. And there's a trapped guy. That's what they're talking about in that thing. Let's see if I can actually do this. Oh, there we go. I've freed Y. Ah. Uh oh. Careful. Oh, there's a there's a there's a Russian R. Oh, he spoke to me and he killed me. Oh, you little prick. Well, I think I've only just scratched the surface of this. I think there's loads of stuff to discover that I haven't even come close to yet. And there's obviously, like, a story that you have to, like, interpret yourself, which is all very cool. And look at the amount of karma I've got from speaking to people. It's a number of some kind, I guess. Careful. Uh, I've got loads of books now. Uh, I've got loads... Lo oh, another one, another one. Quick. Oh, God. I'm slightly nervous now because there's... Oh, hello. Grab you. Uh, I think you're safe. Yep, you're fine. Avoid the A. Oh, might be outside. Okay, let's quickly dig back in again. Oh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, what the hell is that? Ah, look, is, is it like a boss? Okay, let's do... Oh, what? Oh, it's, it actually is a baddie. Oh, I've got a new lifestyle. I've got enough books. New lifestyle? What's that? Ah... All sorts of weird stuff. Ah, in the new choices menu. Okay, some time and reflection later, here's what I think about Illumin. Um, Illumin takes the very essence of the roguelike genre and makes it, well, cool. It looks good, for all its abstract simplicity. The black skyscraper walls are menacing and promise danger, a more natural fit in this abstract world than in action roguelikes such as in Celebration of Violence. It's so basic at first that even the most subtle addition seems important, even down to the flowers you can kick your way through, always egging you on to discover more. The sound design is masterful, pulling off the trick of being both funky soundtrack and essential gameplay component. It really helps draw you into the world, and is such a natural part of the game, I often find myself trying to play to the beat, grip to the Necro Dancer style. So Illumin is cool to look at, and cool to listen to. But, but buttity bats. I didn't enjoy controlling the character itself. 
Because it uses the most ultra basic movement in games, without momentum, acceleration or anything, your character doesn't feel physically part of the world, it just kind of sits on your screen like a hovering drone. When you press space, it interacts with whatever thing is technically closest, so you often interact with something you don't expect, after what you think is the side. Now, there's no concept of your character facing a direction. That works in a simple tile based game, but here is an odd choice and feels cheap. Anyway, I can get over that. I wasn't looking for realism in this game, I wanted to be surprised, intrigued and made to think. And so far I've been getting all that from Illumin, which is good. I think you'll enjoy this if you're hungry for developers doing interesting arty things with the roguelike genre, but if you only ever like indie games if they remind you of other games, you may want to skip this one. So thanks for watching, for more roguelike stuff check out my video on Souls Rescue, a more traditional roguelike, currently in alpha and containing gardening of all things. And subscribe to be notified about all the latest indie stuff and I'll see you next time, bye bye.